Hi everyone, welcome to Season 4, Week 5 of the Los Altos Juice Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week we are going to be playing the UTEP Miners. As you can see, we are a better team than UTEP on paper, so hopefully this game will be much easier than the game we had last week against FIU, where they were able to uh, play us very tight and almost pulled off the shocking upset if they had not thrown that interception at the end of the fourth quarter. So luckily here we get to ball. Great catch by ball, he gets inside the five, first and go. And now we give it to Moye, Moye pounds it in. So 7-0 just like that. Great start for the Juice Frogs. So UTEP on their ensuing possession. Uh, they give it to their star running back, Dole. And Dole gets an easy first down there. He only needs a few inches. A couple plays later, it's third and seven. Barnett scrambles, and we got him before he can get to the first down marker. So great stop. But for some reason, 4th and 5, UTEP decides to go for a fake punt. I even had a zone uh, ready, and they still beat the zone to get a first down on fake punt. Incredible play, first time this dynasty and things that's happened to it. And UTEP gets another break as their ball carrier fumbled the ball, but another player picked it up, so they were able to keep the drive alive. So now 3rd and 5, last play of the first quarter. Barnett, Barnett decides to scramble. It looks like it may have been a designed run, but for some reason Barnett fumbles the ball. Lander picks it up. Oh man, just a huge disaster for UTEP right there. Especially given that they were able to catch us completely off guard with that fake punt. But now we're coming back. Alan Kazi's got first down. Nice 15 yard gain. I hope Kazi's not hurt too badly. Now it looks like a two man under defense. Yep, it is a two man under. Nobody was open and Fletcher was stuffed for a sack. So third and 26, two men under again, and I think there may be a throw uh, available, but for some reason I took too long and was not able to make it. So UTEP gets the ball back now. Barnett just throws it out into the flat, and the receiver actually ended up losing yards, bringing up third and 17. And this time, incomplete again. So fourth and 17. So UTEP is forced to punt again. Uh, they chew off some clock, and it's another fake! Unbelievably, they decided to go for a fake on 4th and 17, it's complete! For sure than the first down marker, wow! I mean, I definitely did not expect that one. I mean, the first one was unexpected, but that one was just unbelievable, like out of left field kind of unexpected. On 4th and 17, wow. But here, we take advantage of that miscue by UTEP, pounded in with Moye. Second touchdown on the day, and we're up 14-0. So with a minute left in the half. And Dole's got nowhere to go on a third down, so UTEP is forced to punt again. So now with 20 seconds left, we got Chad Sapp. Chad Sapp's got the catch. He's got the first down inside the, I think, 30-yard line. No, inside the 40-yard line. And now I'll bring up a third and 10. We only got one play left, so I just go for it. Probably should have been picked, but given that there was no time left, it didn't really matter. Okay, one last chance on fourth down. No, we did not execute. But still, overall, very successful half. Uh, we go into the locker room, for, up 14-0. So now UTEP starts the second half with the ball. Dovo, nice strong run there, using the stiff arm to take down one defender. Now third and two, Dovo goes straight up the middle. And he's stuck! It's fourth and inches. Now, if uh, UTEP has gone for so many fake punts in the past, they're definitely going to go for this. And he's stopped again! Wow, a fourth and inches on a non-fake, a regular run, and we stopped them again. So we keep the margin at 14-0. Now we get to BJ Kelly, and we are on the march again. Alright, first and 10, we run it up the middle. This time it's with our tight end, Rosario. And he trucks to a first down. It looked like he was going to get stopped after picking up 5 yards, but he actually got 10. It's a great play there by Rosario. Now we got a man coming open. It's Warren Ball. Nice catch there. And we're near the end zone. Give it to Moye. And Moye trucks a couple guys. Gets into the end zone. 21-0. And the Juice Frogs finally has some breathing space. This time to give it to Dole off the outside handoff. Nice job by Dole to pick up 50 yards on that run. For some reason, we just didn't have any defenders on that side of the field on that play. 
So now first and ten for UTEP. And I noticed that it's Miller in there now, so we must have really hurt Barnett bad, because Barnett's not in the game right now. Now second and six, Miller throws. He's got Dole wide open to start running back. The great catch there by, uh, by Dole, so it's 21 to 7. Four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, so we're hoping to just pick up a few first downs and pretty much chew off the clock. Nice catch here by Alan Kazi. Got a little bit of momentum going as well, so he picked up 10 additional yards after the crutch. Great play there. Second and two, we pounded up the middle with Moye again, and Moye is down to the one yard line. And first of the goal, this is pretty much automatic. Yeah, probably didn't even have to dive, but dove just to make sure. In retrospect, it was probably a better decision not to dive and hope to get stopped so we can run more time off the clock. But as a result, uh, UTEP gets a chance to make the score more respectable. So on third and inches, they give goal. Nice spin move there, keeping his balance, getting a nice first down. And pretty much at this point, I already put in the reserves. And UTEP, wow, that ball should have been picked off, but UTEP was able to convert that completion and get inside the five. It's a fantastic play by the receiver, and Dole passes up the middle, 28 to 14. So UTEP will go with an onside kick, and Warren Ball. Nice sure hands there to pick it up. 59 seconds left, and that pretty much uh, puts the game on ice. So that's it. 28 to 14. Not a lot of offense for us, but UTEP did not run a hurry up, so that limits the number of possessions for each team. But pretty good game overall. Uh, not much to say about it. I mean, we have one bad turnover, but other than that, we played a solid game. Yeah, only 296 yards total offense, but I would say we dominated the game for the most part. Even though UTEP still gained 250, I don't think we were ever in danger of losing this game. So this is the end of our non-conference schedule. It's great that we were able to go 4-0. That was our goal, especially given that we will only have Pac-12 conference games coming up. So next week, we are going to be playing the Colorado Buffaloes in our first Pac-12 tilt. So hopefully we can keep our winning streak going and go to five and zero. So I hope you guys enjoy and see you next time.